guys welcome back to broads tv breaking news unite emery has been sacked by the arsenal board uh freddie lumberg taking over the hot seat for the rest of the season as interim manager and like first of all i just want to say like obviously unlucky to unite emery man um you know all the best for the future thank you for everything you know we reached the europa league final we had a few good memories but I i'm sure everyone would agree during the latter stages of his time as Arsenal manager, it just wasn't working. Don't really want to criticise the man too much and whatnot. You know, it's difficult. It's a very difficult job. It was a very difficult job to take over the Arsenal team after there was one manager there for so long. I forgot how long Wenger was actually there for. Like, think about 19 years or something like that. You know, there, there were some players in the team when Wenger left that they were born actually after he was um after he was manager so you know it's a it's always going to be a tough job to take like even at Manchester United to this day yeah um Ferguson he was there for 26 years he left in 2013 six years ago and to this day Manchester United have not been the same so it's been tough so credit to Emery um you know, he's taken he's taken a lot of stick and you know look when it's all said and done, yeah, like you know, even I was getting a bit frustrated, but let's just be respectful to him, innit? Do you know what I mean? Like and that guy took a lot of disrespect. You know, people saying good evening good evening or whatever, you know, like taking a mick out of the way he says good evening and, and whatnot. And guys, like one thing we've got to remember, I, I saw a pundit on um I think it was on Sky Sports and she said why is he taking so much stick for his English? Because he's one of the few managers that comes over here who can't speak the language and actually just goes for it. And fair enough, isn't it? Even if you don't want to speak English in your interviews for whatever reason, I don't have a problem with that. But we must credit him for actually giving it a go, right? And you know, not using the translator and whatnot. And he's really trying to immerse himself into the culture and and um you know, grasp the language. I can never, ever be angry at anyone or take the mick out of anyone for that. So that was a good point I saw from that pundit. But um, yeah, where do we go from here? Longberg taking over the uh, the managerial role till the end of the season. I personally, no disrespect to anybody, but I personally don't think he should get it um, after this season. This is just, what can we call it? The curse of the interim manager that... Like, they always do well till the end of the season. And then next season, when they're permanent, things just go bad. <laughs> like, like happened with um, Oli, happened with Di Matteo. He won the Champions League with Chelsea. The next season wasn't the same. Um, and to this day, he's the only Chelsea manager that's won the Champions League. So it's one of those things. Like, I wouldn't keep Freddie. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he has a good time in Arsenal, hopefully he does well, maybe, maybe even get top four, you never know, and then, listen, I'd just say it's in his best interest, and in the best interest for everybody else to probably move him on, he can still have a link with the club, but move him on, let him get some proper experience somewhere else, because this is a very hard job to take, let him get some proper experience somewhere else, and then maybe one day he can come back, but for now, I think we need to go with experience, um, Jose Mourinho, is gone. He's gone to Tottenham. Tottenham done very well on that. I've spoken enough on Mourinho though. He's not available. Do we go for Poch? Mauricio Pochettino? I don't think he's ever going to take the Arsenal job. Um, I personally think he deserves better than that anyway. You know, he deserves a big club um, if that's what he wants. You know, he's been linked with Madrid constantly. He's been linked with Manchester United constantly. And these are clubs that will back him financially, like pretty much all the way. And I'm sure he will, maybe not at Madrid, but I'm sure he will get the respect. He'll gain the respect of the players wherever he goes because he's a top manager. And I think he deserves better than to be possibly taking a step backwards and managing a team like Arsenal. We also have to look at um, Nuno Santo from Wolves. Again, decent manager um he hasn't really been doing as well 
as he was last season. But there's potential there. Um, also, it's worth mentioning that he's very close with George Mendes. So he's got quite a lot of good players that he has access to. Again, I think... <laughs> That's good and bad, isn't it? Um, Arsenal do need better players. I think they do... Because here's the situation. We've got a load of players yet again who are on the last year of their contract or they could easily leave the club on a free or for cheap. So in the case that they do do that, like, for example, I think no matter what Lacazette is leaving the club. I think that because he doesn't play often enough um, and I'm sure he really wants to get back into that France squad. You know, it's a young, talented fl France squad. And I think Lacazette could add to it, definitely. But he doesn't get picked. Maybe it's because of the club that he's at. You know, maybe it's because he doesn't play enough. So, saying that Giroud doesn't play enough and he still gets picked for France. But it's completely different, I guess. But, um, yeah. We've got Lacazette. He's, for me, he's pretty much gone, like, like, he's not staying next year. So, having someone like Santo would be good in the sense that he can attract good players because he's done very well with Wolves. Wolves probably shouldn't be a Europa League team like that considering they were only in League One not so long ago and whatnot, do you know what I mean? But, he seemed to really have helped him out. So, yeah, I think he wouldn't be a bad choice. He seems to be the one that's strongly linked with the job right now on a permanent basis, but I don't I don't really think I would want him. I don't I wouldn't want him. Um obviously there's Ancelotti, he's been doing good things. You know, we know what Ancelotti brings to the table. Um maybe you might have to back him a little bit financially, which you, you pretty much have to do with every manager, especially if you're the board of a big club, but Ancelotti, would he come to Arsenal? Probably not. It depends. I think it depends on how they do um, at the end of the season and if he's going to be backed by the board. Very important for managers like that. Uh, then you also got somebody, oh, I was going to say, yeah, Brendan Rodgers. Now, Brendan Rodgers for me is a standout candidate. Yeah, I don't think that... Like, if you had told me when he had the Celtic job, like, oh, yeah, we want to get Brendan Rodgers. I would have probably thought, maybe, maybe not. But let's look at it like this, year. Brendan Rodgers was the manager of Swansea. Swansea came up, they were playing very attractive football. They play similar to the the, the traditional Arsenal way, you know, passing football, um, going forward, attacking, you know, beautiful football. People were calling Swansea the, the Welsh Barcelona. I think he even got them, um, he won the Carabao Cup with them as well. Uh, we've got when he went to Liverpool. Now, when he went to Liverpool, that was that season or or those few seasons that he was there probably planted the seeds that we're seeing bear fruit now, like today, where Liverpool are probably maybe they'll win the title. They've won the Champions League. There was in a Champions League final before that as well. You know, that level, that push that he gave them to become the team that they are today, you know, it, I think it started with Rodgers. So, Rodgers is actually not a bad manager. Um, yeah. Done very well there. When we look at him at Celtic, same thing. Okay, they were, they were doing terrific domestically. Maybe not the best in Europe, which... Again, that is one thing that comes to mind. Rodgers is not the best in Europe, but I can't really focus on Europe right now because that's short-term success. For the long term of Arsenal Football Club, I think we need to have a manager that can take us back to at least top four. And then from there, if things don't go well in Europe, that's fine. But those are the better problems to have. Those are the sort of problems that um, Manchester City have where they're always going to get top four. They don't even focus on top four. They focus on winning the league. And then they, they focus on um, winning the Champions League as well. You know, better problems to have. So I think possibly having Rodgers domestic, like domestically will be such a good move. Um, and then now we look at what he's doing today at Leicester. Where 
they're in the top four. Uh, obviously, it's a very, very tough time to be trying to challenge for the title. You've got Liverpool, you've got Man City. They're in a league of their own in terms of um, Premier League. But still, that, that Leicester team, they're taking advantage of the fact that Arsenal have been poor, Manchester United have been poor, um, Spurs have been poor. So I can't blame, I can't really make any excuses as to why we shouldn't really get Brendan Rodgers. I think Brendan Rodgers is a standout candidate for us. Um, plays good football. He seems to build a good rapport with players every club that he goes to. And I think bringing him as opposed to somebody like Lundberg or uh, Santo, it, he, will, he will attract players. He will attract players. And yeah, I don't think that's a bad move at all. I think it's worth mentioning also Eddie Howe. I don't know, this is the guy that just doesn't seem to leave Bournemouth. Uh, he left them once and he came back, obviously. But yeah, a lot of Arsenal fans seem to want Eddie Howe. I just don't think that's the move for us, innit? Do you know what I mean? Not proven enough in another team except Bournemouth. And then even then, it's just like Bournemouth only seem to get so far with him. So look, he seems, he seems to be a good manager. Maybe he should have left a year or two ago and really took a risk really took a gamble but he hasn't but you know credit to Eddie Howe he's, his name's still being mentioned anyway so yeah Allegri he's not coming I think I don't know if that story was true where they were saying about um, Allegri rejected the Arsenal job but yeah I doubt he's coming and look Allegri's a winner man he's not a guy that's gonna go to a club like Arsenal where it's, it's a mess right now and it may be in the future after we become a top four club where we win and uh, maybe we win a few trophies domestically and we show that we're winners then maybe a, a guy like Allegri can come in and really do bits with us but as for now no way um who else is there out there I'll talk about some of the former players who have become managers um obviously this is mainly based on sentiment right so you've got Vieira heavily he's He's pretty much a Man City boy now, isn't it? But fair enough. Um, he's an Arsenal legend, nevertheless. Nevertheless, um, he's doing all right in France. But I'd say, I don't know. I'd be open to seeing how he does in England. But it's a very, very tricky job to take. Burkamp working with, um, I think he's working with Ajax. Don't really know too much about that. He's not. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see. Um, Henri. Now, Henri, I remember he's actually been linked to the job a few times. Not even just when Emery was there. I think when Wenger was leaving as well. Because um, his punditry, his punditry made him look like a very attractive managerial candidate. But, you know, as we saw at Monaco, it didn't really work for him. That being said, that Monaco team wasn't really the best and he had so many injury problems during that time there. So we can't really blame him for the results that he that he got at Monaco. Um, even when, I forgot the, the manager's name now, but when the manager came back to Monaco after Henri hadn't really done anything there, they still only just about avoided relegation. So I can't really blame Henri. Obviously, Henri is my favourite player ever anyway. But, <laughs> but I can't really blame him for... What happened at Monaco? Very, very difficult job to take. I remember he was heavily linked with the Aston Villa job as well, but he never took it. So, yeah, but we'll see how he does at Montreal in Canada. And maybe, I don't think it'll be the right appointment, but you never know. Maybe Arsenal will take Thierry Henry as a manager. You know, obviously Henry, the record top goal scorer at Arsenal, won so many trophies, got to Champions League final. You know, I don't think Arsenal's ever been the same without him and the likes of Vieira and Lundberg. Do you know what I mean? So, we will see. But, yeah, I'll end it there. Guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And also, who do you think should be the next Arsenal manager on a permanent basis? Let me know. Comment below. Thank you very much. That's me, Broads TV.